Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. This is Season 9, we are on Alpha 9.2, and this is Episode 13. And I was a little disappointed that I'm going to start my new world. So yesterday on stream, I went ahead and um, did a bunch of looting uh, off camera. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tour on what I've got and what my plans are for today. So right here, you can just check this out. I won't go over all this, and I know it's a mess. I just kind of came in and dumped it all off. So, uh, yeah, there's a big cluster, you know what, but that's not all. We also have this stuff, and this stuff. Uh, do I need these? I don't remember why these books are in there. I think they're in the burn. Pretty sure I don't need them. And then this stuff. And then this stuff. And then this... No, I didn't put anything up here. Okay, so I still have some more room. Uh, we got some stuff here. Uh, and I think that's just about it. So, let's get to working. Uh, last season, I put... Well, this season, uh, last world, I put my uh, cooking stuff out here. And I didn't like going out there uh, because of zombies. Now, the zombies can't get to you up there, but it's just annoying. Once you go out there, they start getting all, you know, com confounded and blustered. And, you know, it's just annoying. So, what I'm... Oh, I wanted to also show you, I put a little wooden door here. And I finished upgrading this and put this wooden door here. I don't. I won't usually build off camera, but I needed some doors there, so you know that's why that stuff's there. Okay, so uh, my plans for tonight, and what I mean for tonight is, you can see right here, it's nighttime. I won't be going out until you know around seven in the morning. But for tonight, I do have some stuff to do. So let's go ahead and, um, like I said, I don't want to put my um, I don't want to put my forges outside again. <clears throat> but the thing is, I don't want to put forges on any kind of wooden area. Uh, I could probably put the forges in here, but I don't want to destroy my bathroom either. It's a nice nice bathroom. Plus, where am I going to do my business? So right here, we do have some tiled floor. So probably not the best place to put a... F oh, by the way, I also got a sledgehammer. I found a sledgehammer in a car. Uh, not once, but twice. Now, I didn't find it twice in this world. I found it once in this world and once on the multiplayer world while I was streaming. And I also got the pistol. I'm pretty sure I did not get this pistol on video. So I'm going to show you the upgraded look of the pistol. The, I guess, HD of five version. I'm not sure. But uh, it really looks nice. This pistol looks sweet. I can't wait for the rest of the guns to get up updated. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our fire uh, theme of bobs over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to take out these cabinets. Make sure there's nothing in them. Okay. Ooh. I didn't know they were... Wait, are they metal or wood? It sounds like they're metal, but the wood axe is breaking them pretty quickly. Uh, you know what? I don't even remember if I made a pickaxe. I don't remember if I made the pickaxe or if I found it, to be honest. I, I don't remember if I made it on video either. It doesn't really matter, uh, because this is all about catching up to where I was earlier in the season. So whatever. I got a pickaxe, I got an axe. You know, you can see what I got here. Oh, so that's weird. When I hit it with a... Well, hold on. Okay, so it definitely is wood. I was just hitting the top of it. That's why I was making that sound. Alright. Uh, I don't like this wood behind here. Because that would technically catch on fire. So, let's break that out. Uh, I'm going to replace it with um, paver stone. Or brick paver. So, I'm going to need one, two, one, two, three, four. I'm going to need five of these. I don't have that much clay, but we should have enough for five of these. Oh, you get four. Okay, per, per combine. So let's just go ahead and make eight. That's fine. All right, that'll work. So while I'm breaking this stuff out, it should take a little bit. So while I'm breaking this stuff out, I'm good. I got some more comments for you guys, and uh, you guys seem to really like it when I read your comments, and you know that's cool because I like reading them. So I do have some comments here. So let's go over some comments. Lunastar Shadow Song, one of my good friends in Seven Days to Die, said it takes it takes a stack of paper to make a book. Great video as always. Now a lot of you guys told me about the stack of paper thing. So it makes it takes a stack of paper to make books, but you only get twenty paper from a book. So in other words, don't make books. Um. Oh yeah. So right after that, I said, do you get the stack of paper from the book? And then someone named E two. Uh, it's a weird name, but that's what their name is. They're the ones who told me that yeah, it's a horrible ratio. Don't do it. And uh, thank you very much, E two. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Games for Kicks four said roaming feral hordes every seventh day that increase the numbers until the seventh week. That's single with most in favor. 
That's my single most favorite feature about this update. So yeah, I didn't talk about that um, in my like first video. Yeah, so they're gonna have roaming feral hordes. I don't know if they're feral. I don't. They're not feral. Pretty sure they're not feral. Uh, but they're gonna have roaming hordes uh, every day. Oh no no no! I'm sorry. I I read that wrong. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Games for Kicks. I, I completely read that wrong. I read it to you guys, but I wasn't really listening to it. So, roaming feral hordes every seventh day. So basically, <clears throat> every day seven, we're gonna have we're gonna have feral feral hordes. Okay, feral hordes mean that the zombies know where you are at all times, no matter what. Okay, and he's telling me, and I didn't read this, but he says that uh, that increase in numbers until the seventh week. So that's interesting. I didn't I didn't see that part in the update. I did see the part about the feral hordes, but not the uh but not the not nothing about the seventh week. And we also have Magdalene Stigson, uh, who said you can shift click from the output box when you're done crafting. So if I craft a bunch of stuff up here, I can just shift click to have it come in my inventory. So that's a good tip. And DJ MPSF8 said, for your information, Zeds in the city respawn every day, not every five days. So this this guy um, did some digging in like the files of the game, and he's according to the files, he's right. Zombies in this city will respawn every day, and uh, I actually had that confirmed by a couple other people. So the whole you know clearing out the area of zombies is only good for uh, places outside of the city. So there you go. So let's go ahead and make. Um, we gotta find our stone. See, this is the problem with having a messed up inventory. Uh, you don't know where anything is. And the problem is, is, as I'm looking for stuff, I will probably miss the stone. There it is. I found it. Look at me. Alright, so I actually kept... I actually kept two short metal pipes, because I actually wanted to use those two short metal pipes. But I had no other way, easy way of getting them, so I decided to keep them, because I was planning ahead. Look at me, planning ahead. So let's go ahead and make two forges. <laughs> what did I do wrong? That's weird. I hit the forge button. Wait. Will it make two now? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright. So let's put these right here. I can't see. Oh, because I'm holding a bandage cage. <laughs> and one right here. Okay. So there you go. A couple forges. Eh. I kind of like the setup. Uh, did I get a lot of wood? Yes, I did. Um, chest, secure chest. Okay, so let's make a let's make a few of those. And what I want to do is I want to put one here, kind of catty corner, if I can. Yes, yes, awesome. And then I'm gonna put one here, the same way, but this way. Okay, this chest will hold everything for the forge thing. This this will hold everything for the uh, campfire. Now, the only thing I don't like about this setup is I don't have a room for a second campfire, which is a little a little annoying, but meh, I can live with it. And the campfire goes right here. Not the perfect setup, but uh, it's pretty nice. You know, I kind of like it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. We do need some light, though. Uh, so, first of all, I don't like having this above... Actually, I don't want any of these cabinets above any of this stuff. But for... Yeah. For now, I'll just break out that cabinet. Now, where am I going to put this light? Yeah, you know what? I should break out all these cabinets. Go. There we go. And there we go. Now that'll allow us to put some light here. And uh, yeah, let's just put it right there. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. I'd like some more light right here. Okay. It's coming along. It's coming along. And now I don't have to go out on the balcony. So let's go ahead and make, turn uh, our clay into... Lumps of clay, and let's go ahead and make some molds. Actually, let's just do this. Let's just make all the molds, right? I mean, like I said, we're going to make everything in this game now. So we need a cement mold. Like so. Cement is used for uh, cobblestone 
cobblestones, uh, which is he makes the cobblestone walls, which are the strongest walls I'm aware of. Uh, ooh, we might be able to make. Ooh, we might be able to make a lot of stuff. Hold on, let's let's just make a ton of molds. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we are going to clear out this inventory, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know if I have everything I can make molds for, but I do have quite a bit of things. Um, so let's just do this. <clears throat> And we'll make a hunting rifle mold. We will make a pistol receiver mold. Now what molds are going to do, for those of you who don't know, is they're going to allow me to um, put stuff into... I'll never make... Oh, no, that's a pistol barrel. They're going to allow me to um, forge these items. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, I had all the parts for a pistol, which I don't, but I'm close. Uh, if I make a mold, then I can make all those parts and make as many pistols as I want, whenever I want. Um, which is obviously just sweet. Uh, let's do the hunting stock. I think that's everything. Oh, no, no, that's not even close to everything. We can also make a jar mold. We can make a... There's something else. Oh yeah, bullet casings mold. Bullet casings are used to make more bu bullets. So, the molds will all go... Oh boy. I'm not going to have a lot of storage for this. Uh, I'll worry about that later. For now, I'm just going to put these up here. Uh, yeah, a lot of molds. A lot of molds. <laughs> Alright, and uh, we'll put the pistol pieces up here for now just because I don't have a better spot for them or you know the the, the gun pieces all right so we got some more molds to make we can uh, tear apart one of these bullets actually we should tear apart a smaller bullet so we don't lose as much uh, yeah 10 mill 10 millimeter bullets a better one to tear apart so you put the bullets over here and you could take one of these items from it I'm gonna choose the bullet tips and then we are going to make bullet tip molds so I can actually make guns. Well, bullets. And guns. Everything. Make everything. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so now we're getting ready for a loot run. I'm not really sure where to loot. I guess I will just loot in town. Uh, I do need to I do need to go somewhere at some point and find a spot for um, my base. Now I don't want to live in this city. Uh, I do have to live in here for a little while, but I don't want to live in here forever. Uh, so, but for now, we'll just loot up. Uh, I do want to find the spot I'm going to be building on camera, but I'm going to cut down a lot of trees off camera. Uh, so, yeah. So, another thing we have to do before we leave is set up to make some iron. We should have did this while it was, day, while it was nighttime. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, I'd also like to find a burnt area for coal deposits. That would be really helpful. Uh, let me do this. Yeah, 36. That'll work. Now, it doesn't tell you how much how much stuff you should put in there to, power, to like, burn this. So, I'm not going to go overboard. Uh, six minutes actually might be a little bit much. But one, one more wooden lock is not that big of a deal. Alright. So, let's drop off the stuff we're not going to need. Uh, I'm not going to... I want to use the club. I actually like the club better than the sledgehammer. The, the sledgehammer is kind of slow. But the problem is I don't have any way to, to fix... Yeah, I really want to use the club. Let's, uh, let's leave the, uh... No, we can't leave the crossbow. Let's leave the pistol. We don't, have enough, we don't have any bullets for it anyway. So let's leave the pistol. Let's hold on to these tools. We do have some food. Uh, our hunger's pretty good. We do have honey. Honey does give you uh, food as well. Actually, quite a bit of food, considering it's not really food. Uh, we'll leave these. We'll leave this wood. We'll take this wood for emergency purposes. And we'll leave the... F well... What are we going to do with the feathers? You know what? We should probably make some bolts. Yeah, let's make some bolts. Now, where did I put the... The stones? Where did I put the stones? Do I still... No. I don't remember where I put the stones. See, that's the problem. i got to organize this inventory. Are there stones in here? Uh, again, it's really annoying looking for something because... Because you guys probably see it and I don't, but when I'm kind of in a hurry. Um, okay, seriously, Cage, I need to know where the stones are. Alright, give me one second, I need to really look. 
They gotta be in here. Am I missing them? Stones, stones, stones. It's coal. Stones. Oh my god, this is killing me. You guys are probably... I know I have... I didn't use all the stones, did I? Okay, guys, I'm gonna apologize. If you know where the stones are and I don't, I'm sorry, but I... You know... Oh, there they are. Okay, wow. You know what I thought? I thought I put them up in these cabinets and accidentally broke the cabinets with the stones in them. Oh, that would have sucked. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead. We need 31 sticks. 33 is fine. And let's go ahead and make ourselves some crossbow bolts. It's good. Crossbow... Oh, let me mute that. Crossbow bolts are really good for those bloated zombies, man. They're just one shot, one kill. It's easy to do. Um, it's really the way to go. So now we can leave that there. Uh, we probably don't need to... We'll, we'll take it anyway. Let's get going. We're burning daylight. It's almost 8 a.m. The nice part about it is we didn't have any zombies coming up here and bothering us during the night. It doesn't even sound like they were hitting the building. Now, I believe that the zombies can't can't be cleared out in the city. But look, man. There's no zombies here. It looks like I cleared it out. Um, I believe with that guy... With that one guy in the comments... I forget his name... Uh, DJ MPS F8 found the files to prove it, but man, I'm telling you, like, I don't see any zombies, and there was always zombies here, so, who knows, who knows. You know, when you're dealing with a game in alpha, that's gonna be the way it's, that's, that's the way it's gonna be sometimes. Oh, I didn't repair my club. Yeah, you know what, I really need to repair my club. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be sometimes with a uh, you know an early access game. Sometimes you're not going to know the way things are going to work. Sometimes it's not going to work at all, and uh, you're just kind of st stuck scratching your head and wondering, am I missing something? But um, yeah, in the single player and the multiplayer world I played with Pam yesterday, yeah, the the zombies were um were definitely respawning in the city. But now in multiplayer, uh, I mean, I don't see any, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah, see, we put too much time in there. That's okay. So we're gonna do is we're gonna break these down into forged iron, break those down into pipes. We're gonna put this away, um, and then we are gonna take those pipes and we are going to. Actually, I don't think we need that much scrap metal to repair this weapon. Yeah, a little bit more, five more. So okay, so the sledgehammer is a beast. It really is, but man, it is slow. I will use it for you. And, you know, it's just a it's just um, a product of me not, not using it well. I'm not saying it's a bad weapon. I'm saying it's a bad weapon for me. I don't really use it that well. So, I apologize for that, but uh, I'll try and get better. Plus, I don't like the way it looks when I'm just, like, standing around. Because it, it, it covers up so much of the screen, you know? Alright, let's get going. So we are going to head this way. We're going to uncover more parts of this area that we haven't. As a matter of fact, let's set a waypoint and go check it out. It's a little hard to remember what I looted and what I haven't. So I might go into the same buildings repeatedly. And see, this is why we need the crossbow. Because these guys usually drop something we need or want. I don't know how much we need anything, but... Yeah, we need water. I would say it's pretty safe to say that as a human being, I do need uh, liquids. So, yeah. Some kind of... Some kind of hydration. You know. You know what I'm saying? Alright, have I been here? I don't know. See, this is... It doesn't look like there's anything good in there anyway. Well, one thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and make our wood frames. Uh, two. See, I didn't bring enough wood. Mmm. That's a problem. But not a huge problem. We do have a pickaxe now, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's see how hard this is? Yeah, that's pretty hard. No, no, no. Screw that. I got a better idea. It might take longer in the in the meantime. Ooh, look at that building. Alright, so let's try this. Okay, yeah. See, it's a little slow to swing it. As you'd expect the sledgehammer to be. But, um, yeah, before we do anything, let's grab the wood. We need wood. We need more wood frames. I should have brought more wood. I have wood in my house. But you know what? I should be getting wood out here anyway, so. It's probably good that I did leave it at home, so now I'm forced to get more. Twelve? Yeah, twelve will, twelve will work just fine. Did I drop them? Yes, I did. Hey, fatty. Right in the back of the head. 
So I don't know what these are used for, but if you look at these sandwiches, uh, they do give you 20 fullness, but you are going to get sick. So I'm not going to bother taking them. I don't know what they're good for. A lot of people have been asking me, and psh, you got me. I don't know what they're good for. They're probably going to be used for a future purpose of some kind. <clears throat> All right, I'll probably do another looting video off camera. As a matter of fact, I'll probably do a few because I do want to go cut down a lot of trees. And uh, you guys don't need to see me cutting down more trees. God knows. Alright, so you know what? I should probably take these. Uh, let's go upstairs. This looks like, almost like the governor's mansion, except smaller. Home maintenance, we do not need that, but we will drop it. Ooh, actually, let's make sure we don't need it because I don't have a repair tool. So, I should probably... Okay, I did need it, thank God. Stupid hat. Stupid filing cabinet. <laughs> oh my goodness. This place sucked. <laughs> well, I did get the repair tool book. I guess I can't complain too much. Should we go in the movie theater? Let's go in the movie theater, guys. Why not? There's usually some good booty to be had in the movie theater. See right here? This is the back door. I'm guessing this is the fire entrance in case there's a fire. You know how they always say to, you know, go to your fire entrance or whatever. The problem with the movie theater is it's going to be dark. And I didn't bring my torches. Damn it. Uh, I apologize for that, guys. But, uh, you know, it's a movie theater. It's supposed to be dark. Oops. See, I hate doing this because I always break the door. But the good thing about breaking the door is I can take the doorknobs. The doorknobs give you brass, which you need for bullet casings, which you need to make more bullets. Brass is of utter importance. If you're new to the game, take every bit of brass you can possibly take. And what I'm looking for here is a mining helmet. Because that will allow me to do stuff in the dark and still have some light for you guys. I'm kind of surprised I haven't found one yet. And disappointed. Okay. We got a cloth hat. Do we have anything on our heads? I don't think so. Alright, let's put on the cloth hat. Why not? It'll keep us warm even though there's no warmth in, uh, you need in the game. But maybe someday. Garbage. Mm. Oh, two wooden boards. This has got to be a good spot. Now we got a fire axe. It's not so big of a deal anymore. Although this is going pretty slow. Wow. Better than with the uh, hand axe, man. That hand I call it a hand axe. It's like a stone axe. Did I just take a TV? Leather tanning. Reloading. Shotgun barrel. I'm never going to make a short shotgun barrel because I will never make a... Um, I'll never make the, the sawed-off shotgun. For those of you who don't know, the sawed-off shotgun is a complete and utter piece of garbage. It doesn't hit anything. Unless they've changed it. But um, I doubt they have. Alright, I don't think we need either of these, but let's just double check. Oh. So, I'm always wrong. What are you going to do? Alright. Ooh, iron glove schematic. Very nice. Oh my god, we're filling up our brains with knowledge. I'm not even going to read what these are. What the hell with it. Ain't nobody got time for that. What Actually, what is that? Survival? Uh, oh, shotgun. Alright, pistols and... Ammunition. Ammunition is needed for shotgun shells, but I, I already read it. Okay. Good haul. Good haul. Alright. Told you there'd be some good stuff in there. Uh, oh, this goes to the projector room. If I can go up the stairs. I gotta learn to loot everything more. Like, I would have passed over that ca that cabinet. Um, I, I don't usually believe the cabinets are worth anything, but... I have to start looting them. I have to start looting everything. Because you never know what's going to be in what, you know? Alright, so we are done up here. Uh, okay, so let's go... Let's get back our trusty pickaxe and fire axe. We will repair the fire axe. Uh, 25 metal strips. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll spend a lot of time cutting down trees because uh, my base is going to be made out of wood. Um, I mean, I could make it out of other stuff, but making the making your base out of like anything that's not wood is 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 rough because it takes so much like material. 
But making it out of wood makes it weak. That's the thing. I think I'll make the inside main part of the base out of wood, and then I'm going to make an outside perimeter um, kill zone type area where, you know, I will battle zombies, and that will be made out of the stronger stuff. We'll see. That's weird. <laughs> Two of the same thing. Uh, metal bars. Let's see how long it takes to break these metal bars. So what I'm thinking about my base is I kind of have to plan it out in my head. But I do want a tower in the middle of it. And I do need some farming of some kind. Oh, that was another thing I didn't mention about the farming. You don't need, um... You don't need, uh, water to farm anymore. But you do need sunlight. Um... So, yeah, I do have to make some crops. Normally, I would make crops on the bottom level, but I think I'll make it make them at the top of the tower just because they're important. Uh, it's my it's going to be my food source, and, you know, technically, you'd want to really protect your farms. Oh, I didn't know you could iron from that. Oh, how much was that? I didn't even look. Let me take a look. That makes it worthwhile breaking this stuff, at least. Not really, actually, because you have to repair the, tool, the pickaxe, so with the amount of damage a pickaxe takes, you probably don't get any iron back, to be honest, but whatever. Come on, break, break. Let's drink some honey. I still want to protest drinking honey out of the zombie hornet I killed. Like, oh yeah, who thought that was a good idea? Oh, let's kill a zombie. Let's kill a zombie hornet. Six scrap iron. Damn, that's a whole iron ingot. Wow. Um, yeah. Who, so who thought that was a good idea? Oh, let's uh, let's kill a zombie hornet and extract its fluids and drink them. You know. Probably not the best idea ever. Just saying. Alright guys, so this is going to be uh, more looting. And my timer just went off. So I'm actually going to spend the rest of the day looting. But that's going to be it for this video. You're not going to miss anything. Maybe I'll cut down some trees and stuff. I'm just trying to catch up to where I was before this recent update. Before I had to restart the world. So anyway, that's going to be it for episode 13. And we'll see you next time for episode 14. Till then, take it easy.